This episode of GDO Players News is brought to you by our friends over at the Skull Splitter Dice Company. For all of your dice needs, head to SkullSplitterDice.com. From metal dice to regular dice, if it's a dice, Skull Splitter Dice has what you need. That is SkullSplitterDice.com. And don't forget to mention GDO Players. If you're a new customer, they're going to give you a free set of dice. Hey now, everybody. Welcome to GDO Players News. This is episode 233. We are recording this on Tuesday evening, August the 13th, because Hardcore League is coming. And we have brace, the brace master. Yourself. That's right. Brace yourselves, people. <laughs> we have the master. We have the teacher. Alessa <laughs> is joining us. You may call me Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sensei. I, I shall snatch the pebble out of your hand. As quickly as you can, snatch the pebble from my hand. When you can take the pebble from my hand, it will be time for you to leave. Or something like that. Yes, yeah, so we're going to talk about uh, Hardcore League. And uh, Lessa is going to bestow on us all sorts of tips and tricks. So that's what we got going. At least that's what I hope is going to happen. We'll see oh, how this goes. What, we're hoping. We don't know what's going <laughs> to happen. Right. Because you know how it usually goes when Les is on the show. You're the one who invited me on the show. I know, every every dang time. And then about halfway through, I always go, what the hell was I thinking? It's like, what did I get myself into? What did I do? What was I thinking? But it'll be fine. It'll it'll be fine, I'm sure. (laughs) Yeah, right. great. What's the worst that could happen? (laughs) Exactly. It's my show, so it's fine. Uh, we do have a little bit of game news, though, other than the Hardcore League uh, going to start. Uh, we did have an update uh, this week. It was update 42.4. Uh, we're just going to hit the highlights of this because this is a dang long list of stuff that was fixed, added, and are nerfed, a bit, depending on your point of view. Uh, we'll just jump right into this. Uh, Reaper mode, creatures in High Skull Reaper have a lesser amount of damage resistance than they do now. Damage resistance ramps up more slowly, and re- resistance to range in magic is further reduced to match melee resistance. Okay, that sounds like it's a good thing. Okay, that sounds fun. Next. <laughs> that sounds fun. Creatures in Reaper will have an additional plus four to their saving throws versus spells. Monster spell penetration rolls in Reaper have been increased. This does not affect the player's ability to penetrate monster spell penetration. Only attacks on players from monsters. Can I just point out that you said penetrate like five times I, in the, within 30 seconds? And... I was trying not to laugh like Beavis. <laughs> Thanks okay. for pointing that out. Sorry. I'm immature. What did you... You invited me. <laughs> What, like third grade, fourth grade? Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's a fourth grade joke. Maybe. <laughs> oh dear, what have I got myself into? Charm creatures will no longer gain the Reaper monster damage bonus. And uh, defensive Reapers have been increased. Uh, also, uh, elsewhere, experience. The experience changes are here. Bravery Streak for both Hard and Elite is now Hard Dungeons Completed and Elite Dungeons Completed. Bravery Streaks will no longer end. They won't have a chance for ending. You won't need to turn off your streak, and you can freely pay at any difficulty without the count resetting. The Bravery Streak bonus Yay. will be moved into a standard Bravery bonus in its full value. Yeah, that's kind of cool that you don't. Yay! Have to and the world rejoiced, so I can just go and do this other quest if I feel like doing it on a different difficulty or not quite at my level. That's great. I can do it. You can. That is Maybe really alone. cool. I like that. Uh, daily bonus is also going to be increased from twenty percent to twenty five percent for uh, heroic dungeons and thirty percent for epic dungeons. So more XPs. Uh, In order to pay for the above increases, though, some of the experience in the first time bonus per difficulty is being reduced. This is going to keep the total bonus experience at the same total percentage that it was before the patch. Uh, Normal difficulty is going to decrease from 25% to 20%. Hard difficulty, 40% to 20%. Elite 80% to 45%, and Reaper, 120% to 95%. So, uh, okay. Uh, Now, the things that are the kind of eh 
this is kind of a nerf, right? The following quests have had their XP lowered. Grim and Barrett from 4,884 to 4,246. Jungle of Kyber from 8740 to 7828. Litany of the Dead, 8740 to 7300. Shadow Crypt, 9820 to 83080. And Spies in the House, 7395 to 6560. Mm, a couple of those are gonna hurt mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. you know what i never run litany of the dead do you no i do not i, I ran it one i've run it one time with i'm you. gonna say i think one time maybe i ran it and it might have been with you as a matter of fact i think it might have been the only time i ever ran it and then a bunch of quests have had their xp raised by a little bit uh desire of the dark records of the past graveyard shift third times a charm yada 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 you can go ahead and look at that in uh, the show notes i'll link the uh, patch notes there's quite a bit of them uh they did the epic destiny work we kind of already touched on that uh, we're not going to get into that because that is a bit much to get into and the other uh, interesting thing is there is a new general feat that is available it is called swords to plowshares this requires a plus four base attack bonus and is available as a monk bonus feat at level one, two, and six. This feat is going to grant quarter staves, commas, and sickles and a plus one morale bonus to their critical threat range. So if you want to role play as a farmhand, now you can do that. Nothing, nothing. Okay. Mo <laughs> I was, moving I was, I was, right I'm along. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, the, uh, inner, the the most interesting point of this whole thing, besides the XP change slash nerf, depending on your viewpoint, is the crafting amounts of the Epic Slave Lords crafting system has been reduced. Unbound ingredients cost uh, used to be uh, you would need 400. Now you need 100. Bound ingredients was at 100, now it's 50, and augment, uh, augment costs have been moved from 200 to 100. So if you want to craft Slave Lords, it's way easier now, which is yeah. a good thing. So what do you think the people who took the time to grind out the old standard, 400 or whatever, what do you think they think about this? If you look on the forums, some <laughs> of them are a little salty about this. That's the best way to put it. The Which, you know, things happen in, in an MMO. If you've ever played any MMO, you know things change. So just because that's how it used to be is not how it is now. I mean, if you took the time to grind it, good for you way to go um you have way more patience than i did i wasn't gonna try to grind that much to get this now i might because th this is not too bad does that mean that the people that went before and actually really put work into it are better i don't know maybe maybe more committed you right. don't deserve that loot right see exactly because Guess who's still not going to run Slave Lords? <laughs> <It's me. laughs> That's what I was going to ask, because I know you have this uh, special place for Slave Lords in your heart. So I wondered I if this... I don't know why. Did... I don't know why. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's, it's a bit long. Maybe that's it. Yeah, I think that's, I mean, I don't run it a lot, but like I said, I might grind out some of this now because it, this is probably what, one or two runs to get all the ingredients that you would need probably now, I would say, maybe, depending on, on your luck. But, and then I hope you can explain this to me because this patch note confused the hell out of me. In the grotto, the swimming section of the tutorial has been altered to be more easily navigated for new players. Grotto. All you had to do was swim down and get a freaking key. How hard was oh, that? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, I did notice that. I, I remember the cage mm -hmm. was pretty, that you had to go down there. And I've never had a problem with it. I've never known anyone to drown there trying to get the key. But now it's not as deep. Thanks. The, Thanks for fixing something that, <laughs> that wasn't really broken. didn't need fixed. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm but like, that's cool. You know what? You got to do what you got to do. I, I appreciate your thoughtfulness for new players. Thank you. I'm just, that Seriously, just, though, you... that just puzzles me. I'm like, you just swam straight down. It and was you fine. Picked the, it was fine. I don't. Who was getting stuck that, there? Exactly. Can right you name hand. me one new player that had problems with that? Because I would like to talk to said person and question their life choices. I'm just saying. And then the Hound of Zoriat and the Legendary Hound of Zoriat raids are available for Reaper play once again. Why you would want to run the Hound on Reaper, I don't know, but some people do. Uh, finally, to wrap it up, there is a new, and this is another thing. I don't see why this is even a thing now, but okay, whatever. There is a new UI option. It's uh, in the options, UI options. You can hide guild renowned chat feedback. This is will hide any guild ch chat feedback you get whenever you earn renown. Okay. Okay. But then how will you know? Exactly. How will you know that you got it? I and don't know. I, uh, I'm confused. Yeah, maybe. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Again, it never really bothered me when it said, oh. It didn't yeah. bother me, but now now maybe I'll turn it off. To say now it's going to bother you just because, yeah, exactly. you know. Now I know. I've <laughs> always wanted to turn that off, and now I can, so I will. Yeah. <laughs> it, was the, it was the update that I didn't know I needed. <laughs> That's right. It's the little quality of life things that we always mm -hmm. love, right? Right. So with the patch is going to come a hot fix patch because, you know, that always happens. Uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, August the 14th, if you're listening live, which currently we don't have anybody listening live. So uh, if you're listening to this on the podcast, this more than likely has passed. Uh, the DDO Game Worlds is going, uh, will be unavailable from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern, Wednesday, August the 14th. That is for a hot fix. The hot fix is going to address an issue with the non-wine version of the Mac client. Also, it's going to correct an issue where Pale Master uh, active attacks are not doing the appropriate amount of negative damage. And they are going to correct scaling on uh, Draconic Hunger and correct an issue where animated allies were not able to rest or remove in uh, zombie form. Cordovan also says, please give me a bit of leeway on these hotfix notes. Some things are being actively worked on, so it is totally possible some things might be added, or a couple of the notes above will not successfully make it into the patch. More info tomorrow. So there you go. So if you plan to play from 9 a.m. to noon tomorrow, I uh, got some news for you. Nope. Not going to happen. But Friday, we will be playing because hardcore mode. Is coming August the 16th. And I know somebody here is pretty darn excited for that. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> just a little excited. Like, so excited you actually went on Lamania and you never go on Lamania. I never go on Lamania. I downloaded it and I went there and I tested it. And when I seen that tweet, I was glory, like, Glory oh be God. to SSG. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you've been living in a cave, maybe under a rock, maybe you've been shipwrecked somewhere for the past week or so, uh, Hardcore Mode is a new server that is for VIPs only. It's going to open up on uh, Friday, August 16th. The premise of it is once you're dead, you're dead. You have one shot at living your life. When you, you die, you to give to this game. <laughs> you were sucked away, and that character mm -hmm. is no more. You will yep. be able to transfer that character off to live after this is over. This is a limited time event. It's going to be for ninety days, so it is super crazy primida. So they did state in the interview that we did with them they are shying away from calling it permadeath yeah, because it's there's already on. permadeath in the game that people have created, yeah. so they don't want to step yeah. on those toes. So, yeah. There, there's very player specific PD in the game where we follow our own little rules, but we'll get into that. Why don't you, you know, get into your whatever else it is you podcasters do, with the store sales and whatever. <laughs> uh, we we've already talked about those last week. That's what week, you kids so. are calling it. <laughs> That's right. You kids and your darn podcast. That's right. So this is now the section of the show, Lessa, where you bestow upon us all of the knowledge. 
all of the knowledge that I have amassed that, you, that I have you, you, you had, that's right in my many years of <laughs> running permadeathers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you did mention that once a character dies, that it's sucked into kind of a almost like a limbo, like a nether realm, and that's it. You're done. You don't get to come back. What I found very interesting was that when someone is in your group and they die, yeah, they get sucked away immediately. There's no getting their stone. There's no raising them. There's no nothing. They're still in the party and they can talk to you. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. And I'm sitting there going, oh, I'm so sorry you died. Can you drop? Group? <laughs> <laughs> can you like leave now? Thanks. Can Thanks. you just get out? Sorry so, about that death, but you know, see ya. Bye. So let's say you you get killed. Mm -hmm. As you do. And you like that character. You've played it to, say, level six. And you want to go ahead and port it after the event is over. You want to port it to whatever server you feel like that character belongs on. You will have that option, even though that character has died. You just can't play that character in the hardcore league anymore. But you can leave it in the login screen. And when the event is over you get to port that character away for free. Now, I didn't see where there was a character limit. And this is just like a regular server with a few exceptions. So that means you are allowed to make as many characters as you are allowed to make as a VIP. So does that mean if I make six characters, can I port them all? <laughs> Like to different places. Yeah, see, that's what I wondered. Are you going to hit like a character limit on the server? And I should have asked them that uh, when I interviewed them at Gen Con, but I completely forgot about that. Yeah, it's all right. So, yeah, that I, that was one of the many questions I had. I wasn't exactly yeah. sure how that was going to work. And I looked on the forums and I didn't see that they ever answered that question if it was asked. So. I guess we'll find out. I guess Contested, we'll find out. Yeah. Because they yeah. said at the end of the league, the characters in that character list that uh, have you have created, dead or otherwise, you can move to the server of your choice. So it's not a waste of your time. That character just doesn't just go away. You can take it to the live servers at, when the event is over. I think that's pretty cool. Well, yeah, definitely, because, you know, I mean, if you're going to invest all this time into playing this... And, you know, not me because my RNG luck sucks. We all know that. <laughs> but if you pull some spectacular piece of loot, I'm going to want to take that to the live or the I'm, I'm calling it live servers. But I'm going to want to take servers. it live. That's right. <laughs> take it live. Of course, I get to get crap on the server, but it's fine. I'm, you know, I you digress. It's fine. don't know that until you know that. And why even take a chance? I'm not going to take a chance. I know where I'm going. Anyway, let's start from the beginning, right? Okay. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself here. Um, I wanted to talk about the, first of all, the shared bank space. I don't know if you asked about this in your interview, but let's say you only have one character in the Hardcore League. Mm -hmm. And that you have a bunch of crafting materials in your shared crafting storage and you have a bunch of stuff that you've shoved into your shared bank space your character dies you still have all that stuff in your shared bank so your next guy can access it mm, see that's something i didn't even think of so. right yeah you got a plan for these things track <laughs> you got a plan man it's all about the plan so my suggestion is don't carry too much money. Put it in the bank. Put it in the shared bank. Put it in your shared bank. Try to fill your shared bank up for your rainy days. Because there are going to be some rainy days. Anything you don't want to lose, like a legacy item that you've outgrown, put it in your shared bank. Uh, all your crafting materials, put them in your shared crafting storage. That way, you don't lose them. Don't walk into a quest with anything you're not willing to say goodbye to. So let's say you've amassed 12,000 platinum. You go to the potion vendor and you buy all kinds of protection potions. And those are not cheap if you buy a stacks of, say, 25 or 50 at a time. And you have five different ones. Well, if you die with those on you, you're going to lose every single one of them. 
So my suggestion is don't do that. Right, because once again, your when you're dead, you when are you're dead. dead, you're dead. You can't Everybody... interact with anything. Yes. You're in yes. this limbo land. You're done. Legit. 100% legit. So anything that character was wearing, is carrying, or is in that character's private bank is now untouchable. You're done. Till you know, till you poured it away and then obviously then you can have it back. But the for as far as the league is concerned, no. You're done. I love that idea and I'm pl I am planning accordingly. The other thing I'm super excited about is this thing starts what, Friday? Yes. And the Crystal Cove is still running. So I heard two rumors. I heard one rumor that it was leaving on Saturday. And then I heard another rumor that it would be staying through the weekend. I don't know which is true. I It's officially ending the 18th, which is Sunday, which means that it'll means be Monday days. morning before it gets shut off. That means two days. Right. Bye. If it's on the server, but they said this server was going to be just like a regular live server. A regular live server. And right now on the regular live servers, the Crystal Cove is active. Right. So, so you should have two days. You should theoretically have two days to run the Crystal Cove. And oh, baby, we're running it. We're going in there because there's just too much good stuff. That's a guarantee, which is why... You shouldn't care about the RNG. You shouldn't care. Don't rely on random loot to save you. Look at the places where you know certain things are either going to drop or you can get them as a guarantee, like the Crystal Cove, like Kenneth Challenges. You can go in as a level four character to House Kenneth, run two challenges twice, and get yourself Bracers of the Wind. That's a 20% miss chance at a very low level. And for some people who can't really UMD stuff and aren't casters and are melee types, that's huge. That's a big advantage. So I'm, I'm actually making a little ranger challenge bot so that I can run challenges for myself. And get the gear that I want. That's one of my that's one of my plans. I don't even know if I should be telling you this draft. <laughs> I don't okay. even know if I should be sharing this with you. I'm writing this all down. It's You're writing. Problem. I'm writing this down. Challenges check. All your secrets. Crystal code check. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, a couple of uh, things that you might not have asked in your interview. If your character, let's say you take it to level twenty you get a reward what is it the blood the little pet the little blood guy yeah the uh, yeah. blood reaper blood, pet, reaper, yeah. blood reaper you get him and you die you die right after you get him you still get to keep him because you've already earned that reward the other thing you need to think about is let's say you reach level 20 and you want to do a heroic tr so that you can make yourself a little bit more powerful so that now you can feel more comfortable running Reaper quests for Reaper XP. Well, if you're on the leaderboard at that point, you're gonna fall off because you're about to lose. It's just like a heroic TR, you lose all that favor. So think about that. See, and that's what I was gonna ask. <laughs> Should you? Think about doing a heroic TR. I don't know where that I would know be beneficial for you. I know people who are planning heroic TR. I, More uh, than one. I see. I how don't fast know. How can you get there? That's way too much work, I think. We'll see. We'll see how far I can get the first. Because you have 90 days to do this. That's not a lot of time. So I like the way you said it. Your inflection is like, you have 90 days. And I'm like, yeah, I know. You only have 90 days. <laughs> like 90 days. <laughs> you got to think about that. You need to get on the stick. So if you are planning to do something like that, you don't have time. You got to go. You got to go get it. You don't have time to just leisurely log in, play for a couple hours, leave. 
you got to get in there and get it because otherwise you're going to run out of time when you want to try to get your place on that leaderboard. So I think it's going to be very exciting. I, I can't wait to see that aspect of it. Super ready, super ready for that. Let's see. Oh, the other one of the the only question that I asked that I couldn't really figure out the answer to is um, if you have earned a reward, let's say level 20, and you haven't gone to talk to mortality yet, do you lose that reward because you haven't claimed it? I or is it an automatic thing? You, as I long as you we're... don't die. Yeah. Once I... you, you have to get your rewards before you die. Because if, if you, you die, die you, you die, you're done. You're done. You can't interact. You can't go talk to mortality, which is actually the vendor for this. It's it's a reaper. He's it's in the hall of heroes. What it is that you talk to. So that's a good that's a good sort of disclaimer. If you earn a reward, go get it. So, yeah, I would reward, suggest as soon as you hit like seventeen fifty favor, and you get the eyes of darkness cosmetic, I would go get it. And then if you die, you're cool. You at least hit that point which is really realistically what i'm going for is the eyes of darkness cosmetic because they are awesome because it looks like you have blood that means you need out to of your make eyes. level 20 right or no that means you need to make 1750 favor yeah i know that's a lot of favor in 90 days it's a lot of favor you can do it just running things on normal and hard which let's be honest that's all what i plan on doing up. exactly all the yeah. way up nice and easy peasy who cares about Reaper XP? If you want those eyes, go get them. Right, and see, that's, yeah, that's... My, my main goal is to get 1750 favor. So, what I'm hearing is that you're planning to play. I am, which so is shocking. Me, I'm, I'm shocked. So, which, if you see me out there, yes. and we're comparable level, then you can play with me. I'm not going to be in any static groups i'm not going to play with the i have some pd permadeath buddies who are planning to do their own guild they're not planning they're like absolutely no pugging and i'm like no no this place has enough rules i'm done with rules this is a leaderboard and it's just you that's going to get on it not you and the team you know right. what i'm saying <laughs> there's no i and team here you know <laughs> mm -mm. no 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 so are you gonna pug yeah, uh, I won't start any pugs. I don't know. I'm a, my. I don't my know. I'm scared. Only <laughs> the I am. See, I am so scared of pugs because I'm afraid there's going to be people that come on here just to troll people, and they're going to troll you into a death. Maybe I think anything that's what below, I'm really worried about level, with pugs. Yeah, I think anything below level ten, you need to be very careful about playing with people that you don't know. Unless you are positive that you can take care of yourself. Like, overall, I think the community is usually pretty cool. Yeah. And I don't... I'm hoping that's not going to happen. But there's a part of me that is like... Uh... I think anyone who has taken the time to get up to the double digits deserves the benefit of the doubt. Right. Anybody right. below level six is going to be suspect. Because it doesn't take that long. I got to level six in a day and a half. Doesn't take that long. Just well, yeah, because if you like do all the slayers and everything out in Corthos, you should be yeah. what about five level when four. level four? Like, say four leave. or five, yeah, when you I leave Corthos. Four. Okay, yeah. Yeah, when I left Corthos, I was level four, and I took my time, and I did things at level, and I ran through Snowy. I ran through the Snowy storyline, and then as soon as I made level three, then I went and cleaned up everything on elite and then did the island and i was done and i was level four by the time i left and at that point uh, whenever i was on the test server i actually found a group and ran a bunch of things with them and they were wanting to do reaper so i was like okay let's let's do reaper so i i accidentally accrued a <laughs> point and a half so <laughs> oops <laughs> and it Just fell right into your lap uh, ask me how many times i did dirk's got a secret or the den of the kobold brothers 
because I, I did it first on Elite because I wanted the bravery. And then I did it on hard, and then I did it on normal, and then I did it on hard again, and then I did it on Reaper with the group. And guess what I didn't get? I was channeling my inner Drac. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get a freaking... <laughs> you didn't get a mukbang so, at all? I didn't. Oh, so on that note... That's rude. Let's, let's that's talk rude. really quickly about crafting. I know that you are, aren't really a huge not, fan of not crafting. so much but yeah and that's let's, okay let's chat <laughs> let's chat for just a minute about gear and crafting here's my suggestion you have to be level 20 40 to really make anything remotely interesting uh oh sorry i think i might uh, have a dog here in a second it's going to ruin everything hopefully not so anyway you need to be about level 20 to 40 to make anything remotely interesting in my opinion everything that i wanted was above that so there is a crafting tutorial in the crafting hall that will give you a free crafting xp elixir my suggestion is after you're off corthos island shove all your loot in your shared bank give it to your whoever you plan on being your crafter if it's your main guy wait until your inventory is just bulging then go do the crafting tutorial. Then take the XP elixir and just start breaking stuff down. You will be level seven before you leave that session. It'll give you a nice little boost to your crafting because every time you break something down, you get a little bit of crafting XP. So you have to start somewhere, right? How do you get to Carnegie Hall, Drac? Practice. One sword, one sword swipe at a time, okay? One sword at a time. <laughs> That's how, one, so, sword at a, one piece of loot at a time. That's how you get to Carnegie Hall. <laughs> you're suggesting that yeah. you have a crafter alt that does nothing yes. but craft. That's what I'm going to do. Well, craft and run challenges. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna say, I was going to say you're, you're challenge slash yeah. crafter. Yeah. Okay. Yep, I'm going to get her to level four, and then what, after, anything that happens after that, it's just gravy. But, meh. She's going to craft for me. She's going to run challenges for me. She's going to, you know, be my social secretary, whatever events I have to be in to be like, <laughs> hey, you have. <sighs> on the schedule bad. today. Yeah, on the schedule today. <laughs> exactly. It, It's, to me, making it yourself or getting it from a guaranteed place is a much better option when you're playing something like this because just random loot you can't depend on it you know what i'm saying that's why i'm super excited about the crystal cove think about it you can have a moderate fortification item piece of headgear that you can be wearing when you're low level or you can take it to the next level and you can make it a heavy fortification item. Just from the Crystal Cove. You can have a water breathing item from the Crystal Cove. Those are gigantic advantages. Anything else is whatever. That's what I was going to ask you. Like, what, what do you think are the must-have things that everyone water should breathing. have? Water breathing you are going to have to find some kind of feather fall. So let's talk about that for a second. Where would you try to get your feather fall? You can't, I mean, unless you could make it. And I don't think, I don't think I would, my crafting level would be comparable to making something. That's the one piece of the puzzle that's like, luck of the draw. Unless you know where to go to get it. So can you name two quests where you know for sure that a feather fall item drops at the end? Oh my god, I'm maybe, trying to think. Not. Uh, not off the top of my head, no. Seal of Chanticore, at the very end, if you're very lucky, will drop the feather falling ring. And that's a level one feather falling item. That's all it does. That's it. But that's enough. And what is it? The Cult of the Six, at the end. After you run that, you have a chance of getting a mummified bat. That's a feather falling trinket. I'm sure there are others, like the chronoscope. I think the chronoscope has a feather falling dagger. What is it? Is this the dagger time something? 
pretty sure. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. I think that's where that dagger comes from. Pretty yeah. sure it's a dagger, but um, oh, not... I forgot all about that mum's okay. fight bat. <laughs> did you? I did. See? <laughs> See? See? Uh huh. Writing uh -huh. that down, too. Uh -huh. You need to get creative. You need to get creative. Uh, I also think that it's a waste of money to use the DDO store or overuse the DDO store. You're going to earn, like, whenever I did the test server, we all started with zero points. So does that mean that in the Hardcore League, we're all starting with zero points? Because that's what I'm planning on. I would assume but, whatever you have now is going to transfer over because they've said this is a regular server. It's a regular server, so that means whatever points you have, you got them. Right. Why don't you just hand me all the awards now? <laughs> <laughs> Like, I see. You're gonna let me use all my points <laughs> and earn more as I go up with favor. I'm right, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Say. What? I think it's a waste of money to buy points. The only thing that I would spend points on, in and in, and this is including XP elixirs because I can buy those with challenge ingredients. I can buy five percent challenge bots that will stack with an item like the Dolores the voice of the master right mm, yeah the voice yep. of the master that's it stacks with that so anyway um the only thing I would spend money on would be like maybe a rogue because you kind of have to spend money on a rogue if you you can't just get them unless you're gold seal you. right yep yep yeah, you have to, exactly you have to buy a gold seal so I don't know man Maybe I'll just save up all the quests that I know I, I can't avoid a trap and go, okay, let's get a rogue. And let's do this. And let's do this. And let's do this. Come I could on. see like, Come on. a rogue. I could maybe see Slayer Pots, maybe. Oh, yeah. Slayer Pots. I would hope to yeah. roll them. Yeah, I got to say, because you would have your your dice, so you might get lucky and get about your dice. But And maybe the XP Pots. That would be the only three things I could see realistically spending points on in the store for this server because yeah especially everything else if, would just kind of be a waste yeah uh, but don't if you buy more than one don't carry them put them in your shared bank because you lose them especially if you're planning on getting to level 20 and doing a heroic tr 150 percent uh like the the, the big xp pots mm -hmm. and the big slayer pots would be a gigantic advantage so i don't know but uh, but money <laughs> exactly but money though ah, i need to think no 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 i need to think about that some more F stop it stop it stop putting <laughs> ideas in my head you need to stop you're welcome all right so that's my that's one of my pieces of advice is do your research and know where you're going and what you want out of it and know when to give up. After I did or after I did Den of the Cobalt Brothers that fifth time, I was like, you know what? Forget it. Forget it. It's just not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, and I, I have to move on. I'm just gonna carry a bunch of maces around, and if I if I get puddings or slimes or whatever, I'll just use those. It'll be fine. It will be fine. And I already talked to you about the crafting tutorial. I already talked to you about the Bracers of the Wind. Twenty percent mischance, and that's a minimum level three item that you can get out of Kanith very super duper useful and i've i can give you these i don't know if you want them or not they're links to my challenge um tutorials oh yeah put them yeah make sure i is, have those and i'll add them to the show notes yeah be, the one that i've linked for my show is the one that i did at level four with a level four ranger uh kobold chaos the kobold island Hmm. And yeah. I had absolutely zero issues getting it done at level four because you're at low level, but so are the mobs. So it's fine. You just got to go in with a plan and stick to it. And the first time you might not get as many because you're still kind of finding your way. The second time, boom, get it done. Get in there and then get your, get your loot. Get your loot on. You know what I'm saying? I'm oh I have so many plans. Oh, I'm so excited, Drek. Ah, I can't take it. Okay. All right. Woo, I'm over it. Now let's move on. <laughs> well, I'm really torn about sharing actual tips with you. You know why? 
Because you want to keep all the good information to yourself. Yes, I want to keep all the good information to myself, <laughs> and I want to be on the leaderboard, and I want you to not be. <laughs> See, <laughs> well, I mean, you could be on there, but like behind me. I mean, I don't <laughs> care about the leaderboard whatsoever. My whole goal is to hit seventeen fifty favor to get those freaking Eyes of Darkness cosmetic. That is Aww. my whole goal in this. Aww. So, yeah. We'll see okay. how it works out. All right. So let's talk about when you are in your little tween years. When you're a baby and you're in little tween years, your little body's going through changes. I'm reading Twilight. Yeah, and, right. Know, <laughs> that, does, that doesn't mean you need to put yourself at risk. So let's talk about the biggest mistakes I saw people making on the hardcore server. And the first one I saw was people going too fast, trying to go through content very, very quickly so that they can get that XP, so that they can get to the next thing. Don't shy away from building yourself a base more carefully. That way, when you get up a little bit in level and when casters start throwing things of significance at you, you can handle it a little bit better. You have a little bit of gear on and you have some action points that you have been able to spend on yourself. So you gotta, you gotta think about your skills, right? And I shouldn't have to talk about this yet. People are out there still eating Tide Pods, right? <laughs> True. There we go. Exactly. <laughs> You're in a hurry, but you know, what's more time consuming than running a quest twice. Would you like to know starting over? That's what's more time consuming Drac. That's right, because once again, when you're dead, you are dead. Exactly. It's Darwinism. That's it. So if you play foolishly, the game is going to weed you out. And I, oh, I'm looking forward to it. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> Mwah! Okay. My, the other big mistake I saw out there was a lack of group communication. When the rogue says trap, when the rogue stops, suddenly, don't go further. Let them do their thing. If you... that that's a good point because I think people now are lured, yeah, lured into a sense of I'm fine because I have all these past lives exactly. and all this great gear behind me or whatever, so I'm just going to run that. through this crap. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They're not going to have that. So if you need a heal and your cleric isn't with you, you're about to die. And hirelings are hit and miss. They don't always heal you as quickly as you would like, especially at the low levels. You don't know Chug what's going to Chug that pot. Chug that pot. Yeah, exactly. Be, 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 take care of yourself. And that's my next thing, which is lack of self-sufficiency. Be your own anchor, right? If you have heal pots, you got to have heal pots. Whatever else you might need, resist pots. Uh, if you're in a group, that's great. But do not expect other people to look out for you. Watch out for yourself. Number one is the most important. Think about what quest you're going to before you step in. What kind of mobs are you going to face? What are the casters going to throw at you? So, right, what is it? Prior planning prevents poor performance, right? Super easy. It should be common sense, yet people are going to die, 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 die. <laughs> <laughs> Which leads me to overconfidence was one of the big things I mm. saw people dying of. This is going to be so easy. I've run this quest a thousand times. Watch me go. And then that person dies at level four or five. The first time they see a Cobalt Shaman casting Lightning Bolt. I see, I've seen a lot of players dying between eight and ten. When their character starts to grow and get a little bit more hardy, these guys tend to bite off more than they can handle. Mm, yep. So all I can say I is can see hey, that. thank you for getting out of my way. <laughs> On the leaderboard. When we're slot up the leaderboard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You. Thank you. I will take that. If you're standing at a quest door and your clench factor is above seven, step away. <laughs> step away. Do it on a lower difficulty. Come back later when you're bigger and stronger. Or don't. Whatever. It's fine. I don't care. I'm not you. Let's talk about the next thing. The Speaking of casters and lightning bolts, failure to dodge big killer not anticipating spells aimed at you and underestimating how hard a champion is going to hit you even the trash champions hit hard that's a great way to get yourself killed the 
biggest harbor killers. Well, I wouldn't say the biggest. Well, maybe in size wise, they're the biggest. Ogres. Ogres in the harbor. Oh, yeah. They do that yeah. triple strike on you, yep. and you're going to be dead, dead, dead. You're going to be dead. That's it. You're See, done. And this is stuff I didn't even think about. Yeah. So when you go to do waterworks and you go down the one hallway, that is the one guaranteed ogre that you have. If he comes out, you're going to have to figure out how you're going to deal with him. Have a plan. That's it. That's all you got to do. Have a plan. You're going to get yourself killed. So and if a caster raises his arms up and is going to strike something at you, step out of the way. <laughs> if you are getting hit by ranged fire and melees are coming up to you, break line of sight. Let the trash come to you. You pick the battlefield. They don't. Let them come around the corner. You kill them. And then you deal with the rangers. And then you deal with whatever is throwing whatever at you. It's fine. It'll be fine. Little tactics go a long way, right? If you think about it. Or you, or don't think about it, because once again, I will take <laughs> your spot. <laughs> All right. And the last piece of advice, and this is it, because I don't know everything, but I know some things, and I know that I'm going to be doing this for 90 days and it's going to take over my life. Know your role in the party, right? If you're squishy, be squishy, man. If you're made of glass, don't throw the first punch. Expect Darwinism if you do that, <laughs> right? Natural selection at its finest. Let the tank be the tank. That's why you freaking invited them in the first place, so that they could right. freaking go out there and, and use their face to catch whatever, swords and stuff. And I already told you that I'm not doing static groups. Uh, the last thing I have is good luck, and I hope to see you out there. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm going to see Drake on the way. I know. Term. I know. That's... I can't believe it. <laughs> I was talking to uh, Myth at, after we played D&D, &D, and she's like, you're going to play on this server? And I'm like, yeah. Unbelievable. Know. You know what? The it, two of you should do a static group together. It sh <laughs> shocks even me. Oh, that, hey, there's an yeah, idea. Yeah, and you could just do normal and hard all the way up, nice and easy. And then you guys would be holding hands and like skipping <laughs> around and stuff. And then you'll be up there getting your 1750 favor, laughing at everybody else who's yeah, fallen know. off the leaderboard and died over and over like again. This idea, and then but you yes. guys are like, ha 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 ha. Yeah. She it's, might go I, for that. I I will have to ask her about that. That you maybe will. might not be a bad idea. I can't believe I'm just yeah. volunteering her for stuff. She's gonna <laughs> kill me. She is fine. gonna kill me. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, I I really am planning on like investing a lot into this and trying trying I'm to so get to seventeen fifty. So yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. So every time I think about this it makes me crazy happy. So this just talk so. about somebody throwing gasoline on the dying fire of my interest in TDM. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think uh, that brings up a good point. I think we might see a lot of players that have left the game maybe come, come back, back for this. It. And you yeah. have to be a VIP, so they're going to be in it for one month at least. Right. Maybe three. So... This might, I, what do you think? I know the big thing I've heard a lot of people ask about, do you think this is going to segment the community even more than no. it always, no. always is, no. already is, I should it, say. It's already segmented. The, the damage is already done. It, so leave us alone. It's only for 90 days. Go cry somewhere else. It, that's, this game has been running since 2006. What do you want, a parade? I get 90 days. Leave me alone. And that's kind of how I feel, too. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, it, it, it's 90 days. People will come back to oh my God, you're X server. Everything. Right. For 90 exactly. days. Exactly. It's, yeah, it's 90 days. <laughs> it's 90 it's days. It's August 16th through November 16th. Exactly. You're so not going to die. It's fine. I mean, sort of. You're probably I mean, going to you, die, but you're you not going to die. You <laughs> might die. I don't know. Do you want to hear the quote that I made up? I don't know if I actually quoted this, but it's my quote now. Okay. Know what you want and pursue it ruthlessly until you get it or someone hands you a restraining order. Words to live by. Words to live by. Less there you go. So good luck, everybody on the hardcore server. Yay! Hope to see you out there. If you exactly. see me, say hello. Don't me too. Me to answer right away. <laughs> <'Cause> right. 
<laughs> Somebody asked me if, if I was going to twitch this, and I'm like, no. 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 <laughs> no. No, I am not. Really boring. <laughs> no. <laughs> exactly. No. No, no, no. <laughs> and I know the one time I would glance at chat, I would probably die, then I would be pissed forever. So, no. There exactly. will be no twitching of this. <laughs> exactly. FYI. You can hear about my exploits later on the podcast, but that's it. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, yep. you got anything else for hardcore? No, nope, that's it. I'm so done. All right. Well, as we said, say hi if you see us out there, because apparently we'll both be out on the hardcore lead Yay! server. Oh, 1750, man. That's I know, so right? Much, 1750 but... or bust. You can that's, do it. I believe that's you. my goal. That's my goal. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, let's jump into our weekend game. Being where I did absolutely nothing but played... <laughs> D and D Kasplat last night. We, oh my god! It was so much fun. I so loved it. I loved fun. it. I love it when it's role play heavy. But I know that we also need to fight a little bit because you know, so yeah, that, that everybody can kill. Stuff. We did not fight at all. We didn't last, fight at all. Or I, I guess it was Sunday night. I said last night. And but now it, it was we've night. set up a plot where we're gonna kidnap somebody. What? Great, isn't Are it? you freaking yeah, no. kidding me? And we hi we outsourced our labor. We hired mercenaries to replace us. What can possibly go wrong with everything. this plan? Everything. I hope everything goes wrong. Oh, it's gonna go so wrong so quick. Oh, it's, gonna be bad. it's gonna be glorious. <laughs> glorious, I say. It's gonna be bad. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be way bad. But I am having so much fun in that group. That I is like too. the most fun I've had playing D and D for uh, a long time. Yeah, it was that definitely is... the highlight of my Sunday. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, if you... Uh, he here you go. If you see Lessa on the Hardcore League server, ask her about her loot playing. No, no, liar. It's a liar. Our, liar. It's a liar, I'm sorry, liar. Yeah. And, uh, liar. I, I, my, I play the liar perfectly. I took lessons for many years. It was what are the issue. odds of rolling <laughs> two ones in a row? One. Like, I just rock up into that bar, and I'm like, I'm going to play this thing. I'm going to impress everybody. It's going to be great. Oh, uh, it was great. It was glorious. So I was like, well, you know what? Maybe I'll just play it again. It was terrible. It was glorious. Glorious. So much fun. terrible. So that's all uh, you played? You played D&D D and D and Kiss Blatt? Yeah, that's all I did. I didn't uh, yeah. do anything else. Yeah, I did I've the been... hardcore server in D&D &D Kiss Blatt, and I played Division 1, and I'm Division 2. Because reasons. Because <laughs> reasons. Reasons. You're actually still games. playing the first division? I'm playing the first division with my daughter. Oh, okay. She, oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, she has the game because the game was on sale. And so I'm playing with her. It's a mother-daughter thing. She's liking it. And I didn't uh, think she would. I need to reinstall that. I had to uninstall it for some reason. And I never reinstalled it. I should install that again well back in the day it was a resource hog so maybe uh, maybe you're doing better now <laughs> maybe <laughs> <laughs> that might have been it i i can't remember there was some reason i don't install it but okay and of course i haven't even looked at anything about the second one but i hear you guys talk about it all the time and it sounds amazing the second one is pretty amazing everything that i didn't uh, care for from the first game they kind of tweaked and made better for the second game and it's a continuation of the storyline and i love it and you get all the different factions the story isn't as thorough i think it's not as thorough you don't get to find as many telephones and you know survival guide laptops and stuff like that to listen oh, to those okay. conversations which i is one of the things that I loved the most was going and eavesdropping on people's conversations, <laughs> telephones and stuff. But, yeah, that was always eh, amazing. That's okay. Fun. Uh, yeah, exactly. In Division One, but whatever. I'm having a good time. 
All right, let's move on to the end of the show then. Uh, we currently have 18 supporters over on our Patreon. If you would like to help support DDO players, simply go to our donations page. You can uh, support the Players Alliance Network over on Patreon. You're going to find uh, rewards, including a mention of the podcast of your choice. You can even be a guest for an episode of DDO Players News and new rewards coming soonish whenever I get around to it. <laughs> we didn't have any uh, iTunes reviews this week. We would appreciate your support over there, though. The more reviews we get, the more we show up on iTunes. That's how it works, so that would be awesome. No feature comments over on the site and no emails as well. You can uh, email us at podcast at ddoplayers.com You can follow us over on the Twitter machine at Players Ally at DDO Players. You can find me uh, at Dracula underscore 72 and at Pineleaf Needles. For Pineleaf, uh, if you want to follow me on Twitch, it is Dracula underscore 72 as well. Lessa can be found at Lessa and also at uh, damselsofddo.com. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And at Lessa101 on Twitch? Uh, no. Yeah, Lessa101 on Twitch, absolutely. Yeah. Anything else you want to plug about the damsels? Uh, n- I just put out our latest show, as a matter of fact, where we also... Cool talk about the hardcore server <laughs> oh did you we well i will about, we talk about strategy sava and i sava's playing too and we talked we went in pretty deep about strategy and then we roped mythory into playing up to level four <laughs> 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 so that's Poor why myth. that's why you can probably talk her into just being static just with you and running around <laughs> well, there you go we'll see myth <laughs> expect a text expect from a me call. soon. <laughs> expect a call soon, Myth. <laughs> if you're out there listening, expect it oh, soon. She's gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> and I will tell her this was all Lessa's yeah, idea. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> of course, that's that's how. I, as I said many times on the show, every good story starts with Lessa said. <laughs> that's actually because it, true. in the he room, that's how it always happens. Well, <laughs> Lessa said we should do this, so that's what we did. <sighs> all right that is it uh you can listen to the two players alliance live shows which would be tdl players news normally mondays at 7 p.m eastern and on saturday nights at 8 30 p.m eastern we have lotro players news if you're into lotro that is the show for you join us at ddoplayers.com slash live that is all for the show you want to say some final words of wisdom also Final words of wisdom, Lessa. What? Perfect. Yes, bye. <laughs> Have a that good was day. perfect. <laughs> All right. We'll see you on uh, the Hardcore League server. Yay. Cheers. <laughs>